Hello and welcome back to Football Daily and we are counting down the days until the transfer window is thrust back open and clubs across Europe can start throwing around their money yet again. So here we are with the best of the week for this episode of Transfer Talk. Don't forget if you hear anything yourself tweet me at Mike Atkins with the hashtag Transfer Talk or stick it down in the comments below. Let's get to it. And this week we start with yet another Ajax starlet linked with a big move to the big leagues. Following Frenkie de Jong's monstrous move to Barcelona and Matthias de Ligt expected to leave the Johan Cruyff Arena this summer as well, the next name doing the rounds is winger David Neres. Over the course of the 2018-19 campaign, the calibre of team interested in the 22-year-old has increased dramatically. Just Everton had him in their sights last summer, and during the January window that list expanded to include Borussia Dortmund, Chelsea, Liverpool and PSG. But two favourites have now emerged, Arsenal and Manchester United. The Premier League rivals are set to go head-to-head -head for the Brazilian, with the asking price already set at £45 million. Neres, who made his Seleschal debut only last month, was Ajax's top scorer last season with 14 goals, as well as contributing 11 assists. And with 10 of each so far this campaign, and this side having netted over 150 goals since the beginning of the season, he could well eclipse his total goal involvements with a handful of matches left. For a similar price to Vinicius Jr, and for someone who does have experience at the top level of continental football, you'd expect David Neres to settle in wherever he goes pretty quickly. And if you want to keep up to date with all the news about the biggest clubs in England and across Europe, make sure you're subscribed to Football daily with the notifications on. Another midfielder taking Europe by storm is Sporting's Bruno Fernandes. The 24-year-old returned to his homeland in 2017 after spending his pro career to that point in Italy for the likes of Udinese and Sampdoria. Fernandes was almost available on a free last summer as he was one of many players to quit the club following the actions of former Sporting president Bruno De Carvalho and he'll be glad that he didn't. As Fernandes bagged his 28th goal of the season, scouts from Manchester United, Juventus and PSG were all in attendance. With a buyout clause reported to be €100 million Euros in his renegotiated contract, no doubt the Lisbon side are delighted that the 11 capped international is still on their books, as it looks likely they'll be cashing in on their star asset this summer. Switching focus to another Portuguese giant in Benfica and their hottest new talent, João Felix. The 19-year-old has been shot into the spotlight this season and his hat-trick in the Europa League quarter-final against Eintracht Frankfurt shows he isn't one to shirk the responsibility. In the Liga Notch this season, Felix is contributing a goal every 78 minutes, almost five times better than Cristiano Ronaldo's rate in his sole domestic campaign at home when he was 18. So it's only natural that the new Ronaldo is being tipped to join up with the Portuguese legend at Juventus. The youngster, released by Porto as a 15-year-old, has a release clause of 120 million euros. And reports suggest that the current Liga Nost leaders have already rejected a bid of 75 million euros from the Serie A champions elect. The Estadio da Luz side will certainly be in no rush to sell their boy Wanda though, meaning Juve will likely have to break the transfer record set only last year when they signed CR7. Right, just as you'd forgotten this rumour was ever even a thing, it bubbles back up to the surface yet again. Yes, that's right, Barcelona are back in the market for Willian. After having a £55 million bid rejected for the 30-year-old in January, you'd have thought the Blaugrana would have set their sights elsewhere, but that's not the case. Of course, Chelsea's transfer ban does complicate matters, as players have allegedly been told they can't leave the club this summer. But with Willian's contract expiring in 2020 and club policy only allowing 12-month deals to players over 30, the Brazilian may demand a move if he feels he can get a better contract elsewhere. This could open the door for Callum Hudson-Odoi to have a bigger role next campaign, something both he and the Chelsea fans would no doubt be pleased about. Maybe the board should finally let Willian go. However, one player that is more in Barcelona's wheelhouse is Manchester United's Marcus Rashford. Barca have made no secret that they are looking for that Luis Suarez replacement, having been heavily linked with Luka Jovic. But with Rashford's contract expiring next summer, they believe they can turn his head. Now, he was due to sign a new five-year contract with the Red Devils worth over £250,000 a week, but talks seem to have quietened down and Barca are looking to jump in now before they restart. Obviously, Rashford is a key man under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but should they receive the £100 million that is being banded about, that could double his current transfer budget for the summer. It does make more sense for United to keep Rashford, but stranger things have happened during transfer season. Moving from the departure lounge to the arrivals hall next for Manchester United, where we recently brought you the story that Solskjaer's side were favourites to sign Samuel Titi from Barcelona. Well, not anymore. Juventus now lead the race to sign the Frenchman, who has lost his place in the Barca lineup following injury struggles this season. As a result, the focus of Ed Woodward's gaze has drifted across the Mediterranean and to Roma and their centre-back Costas Manelas. 
The 27-year-old, who joined the club in 2014, has a release clause of just 36 million euros and is after about £75,000 a week in wages, as he reportedly seeks a new challenge. Both figures are substantially cheaper than Umtiti's, as well as other targets like Inter's Milan Skriniar and Napoli's Kalidou Koulibaly. Add to that Manalas making 3.3 tackles and interceptions every single game, more than anyone at Old Trafford by Ashley Young and Ander Herrera, and maybe going for the Greek international really is the smarter option. Having donned the iconic white shirt of Tottenham Hotspur over 150 times, you'd expect Toby Alderweireld to know all about the Lily White's rivalry with Arsenal. But with him available for just £25 million this summer, it is their fiercest rivals who have emerged as surprise candidates for his signature. It would be Sol Campbell all over again for Spurs, who infamously made the switch across North London on a free transfer in 2001, going on to win two Premier Leagues as well as two FA Cups. But what do you think? Would Alderweireld be more likely to win a trophy if he crossed the divide? Vote in the poll above. And finally, we head to League 1 for a potential managerial switch. Leon boss Bruno Genosio has announced he will be leaving the Groupama Stadium with Les Gons line in third, the final automatic Champions League spot. The man tipped to replace him, Nice's Patrick Vieira. Having only joined them last summer, the Arsenal legend's current deal with Nice still has two years remaining, meaning Lyon owner Jean-Michel Orla will have to pay it off to acquire his services. Vieira has a 40% win rate so far from 35 matches in charge at the Allianz Riviera, a very respectable rate for a side that more often than not finishes mid-table. If this does go ahead though, we probably won't find out about it until summer comes around. And that's all for Transfer Talk this week. Let us know in the comments what you make of those rumours and let us know if you see any stories yourself. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.